Hello everyone, my name is Isabella Cart, and today I'm doing my ASL presentation on Linda Bow. Why I selected Linda Bow for this project. Bow was a featured character on Sesame Street, a popular children's program that I used to watch when I was a kid. And during the time of the show, she made a big impact on children by teaching American Sign Language. I think Bow was a great role model and helped connect the hearing and the non-hearing world. Linda Bow's deafness. Linda Bow was actually born deaf. And she was born to two deaf parents and grew up learning American Sign Language. Deaf culture was a huge part of Vogue's life because she almost always spoke American Sign Language. Linda stated that her deafness affected the roles she received in television, but she still pushed the idea that deafness was not a disability, rather just a difference. The early life of Linda Bove. Linda Bove was born in Garfield, New Jersey, and she attended St. Joseph's School for the Deaf in the Bronx, New York before transferring to Marie Katzenbach School for the Deaf in Trent, New Jersey. And then she graduated in 1963. Both went on to attend Gallaudet College, which is now known as Gallaudet University, and studied library science. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what library science was, so I looked it up, and library science is defined as the field of study that teaches how to manage books and other information, particularly through collecting, preserving, and organizing books and other materials in libraries. So Linda wanted to be a librarian. Early life continued. Despite studying library science, during university, Bove became interested in theater. She participated in many productions at Gallaudet, including Spoon River. And during her senior year, Bove studied in a summer school program at the National Theater for the Deaf. This program cemented her love for theater and caused her to pursue it as a career. Then in 1970, Linda Bove married Ed Waterstreet, who was another deaf actor, and he was also a part of the NTD, which is the National Theater for the Deaf. If you look in the top right uh, corner, that's a picture of Linda Bove on Sesame Street, and then the bottom right corner is a book she published to help teach kids ASL. Linda Bove's theater roles. In 1971, Linda Bove debuted on Sesame Street as the character Linda the Librarian. Linda taught children on the show sign language as well as educated them on deaf community issues. She continued this role until 2003. This makes Linda the Librarian the longest running role on television for a deaf person in history. Bove also published Sesame Street books, one being Sesame Street Sign Language ABC with Linda Bove, which is pictured in the top right. And then the bottom right corner, that is Linda Bove on the set of Sesame Street. Bove also performed on the soap opera Search for Tomorrow and the TV shows Happy Days, Law and & Order, and Weeds. And she even played the understudy of the main role on the Broadway play Children of a Lesser God. Then in 1991, Linda Bove and her husband founded the Deaf West Theater, which is a theater for the deaf in Los Angeles, California. And she was also involved in the Non-Traditional Casting Project, which was a nonprofit organization that helps people of non-traditional ethnicities and handicaps get into the industry. And by the industry, I mean the film industry, the music industry, the television industry, and the theater industry. Linda Bove's Contributions to Society Linda Bove taught many children how to communicate using American Sign Language, and in turn she educated them about the deaf community. She even taught the children about the issues within the deaf community and the struggles that those who were deaf had to endure. Bove also opened the Deaf West Theater in order to allow more deaf individuals to get involved in theater. Overall, Linda Bove was an inspiration for deaf actors and actresses. Um, the picture in the bottom right corner is a picture from the National Theater for the Deaf. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys a few examples of Linda Bove's performance. Right? 
and Linda Bove's life now. Linda Bove no longer plays the role of Linda the Librarian on Sesame Street. But Bove is still an active part of the deaf arts community. Bove now lives just outside of Los Angeles, California, by the Deaf West Theater with her longtime husband, Ed Waterstreet. And the couple has produced more than 40 plays, four musicals, and won more than 80 awards for their work together. These pictures on the right are all pictures of Linda Bove. Um, the top one, I believe, is her on Sesame Street. And then I'm pretty sure the bottom right one is her with her husband, Ed Waterstreet, in the past. Thank you all for watching my presentation.